Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to do something a little bit more commonplace. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, a few months ago, um, we saw that they had just released, Campbell's had just released uh, cream of bacon soup. We looked everywhere for it. On their website, they had a map where you could find a store that carried it. And I went to the stores that carried it. They had a place for it there, but they didn't actually have the uh, cream of bacon soup. So I kind of gave it up on them. I actually uh, wrote to Campbell's and I asked them how I could get this and um, I wasn't very successful. And then um, a short while ago, Janice Yamanaka got in touch with me and said that she managed to find these and she found these at Dollar General. So even the, the stores that were supposed to carry it, it didn't carry it and you could find it there. It's kind of died out. I really haven't seen any demand for it, but still I wanted to see what the cream of bacon soup was all about. Now you've seen us already use this because on our Thanksgiving episode, we actually use this for the cactus casserole uh, that we made as a as an alternative to the green bean casserole. We actually used the cream of bacon soup in it. But I was curious as to how it tastes just prepared as a soup. So that's what we're going to do that today. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a reverse baked potato soup. So I'm going to do the cream of bacon soup. I'm, I'm going to just prepare it and then I'm going to taste it just to see what it tastes like on its own. But then I'm going to kind of dress it up like a baked potato, but I'm going to kind of reverse that. So what I have is um, I have a baked potato that I made and um, I kind of uh, chopped that up a little bit so that they're smaller pieces. We're gonna put that in there. Uh, I've got some uh, cheese, some shredded cheese. I have some chives. I have some uh, bacon, crumbled bacon. I'm not gonna do sour cream only because there's gonna be milk in the soup and it's a creamy soup. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna do sour cream. That would just kind of defeat the purpose. Uh, but um, maybe I should have used sour milk. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, first make this, taste it as a soup itself. And then, um, then dress it up and, and see see what we come up with. So uh, here we have Campbell's cream of bacon soup. And like most of the other uh, soups, Campbell's soups, especially the cream ones, is that you essentially just um, mix it with milk. So you put a can of the soup with a can of milk, heat it up, and be done with it. So it's already kind of liquidy. You can see there's bits of bacon in there. Is liquidy a real word? Okay, so we got that in the pan. Let's go ahead and add a can of milk. And when you put the liquid in the can, that's always good for getting that, those last bits that kind of cling onto the side of the can. So let's go ahead and uh, get the heat on underneath this. Kind of stir that up a little bit, mix that together. But it's kind of lumpy. Always found that if the spoon doesn't work for you, get a whisk. That's it's already it's already cooked. So basically, we're just trying to blend this and heat it up. It really kind of surprises me that Campbell's just kind of did it like the way they did it and, and didn't just kind of just release release the soup. I don't know how popular it is, but it, but a lot of people didn't even hear about it. I know I saw some on some websites where people were, were talking about it and were saying that they hadn't heard of it or they didn't know it existed and didn't know where to get it. So they kind of dropped the ball on this one, I think. I'm going to just keep whisking this while it heats up. Let's make sure that it blends properly. And like any other soup that you're using milk for, you have to be very, very careful that you don't end up with the skin where it kind of burns, the milk part burns, and you end up with that skin on top. I think maybe some people like that. I'm not crazy about it, but you know. Wait till that looks like it starts to boil a bit. It looks like the milk is separating. I'm hoping that's just a reflection. Okay, 
Okay, that's hot. So I'm gonna, there's a little bit, you can see little bacon pieces in there. So I'm gonna get a spoonful of this. Let's see how this is. Besides hot. Well, creamy is the operative word here. But, oh my God, there's just so much bacon flavor in there. And that's really weird because, you, I mean, I can't think of, I'm starting to scorch this a little bit, so I'm gonna turn the heat down. I can't think of a lot of things that have a bacon and a creamy taste to it. So it's really unusual, um, but it's really nice. And, and that bacon flavor really comes through. So, I mean, it does kind of have that, that kind of fluffy, you know, almost, uh, you know, not the, the flavor of potato, but at least that feeling that it has in your mouth. So I think that the idea of going with potatoes and everything is probably a good idea. So I'm just gonna cut, put all the potatoes in there. Mix that up. And again, I baked that potato, so it's, you know, it's fully cooked. I don't want it to like turn into mush and everything. I want it to have some texture in it when we're eating the soup. So I'm just gonna kind of mix that in. And since this already has bacon pieces in it, I'm gonna use the bacon bits on the top. I'm gonna to put all these ingredients on the top, sort of like I would with a baked potato. But again, remember, this is a reverse baked potato soup. And when I baked the potato, I left the skins on only because that adds texture and flavor to it. So let's go ahead and ladle some of this in here. And then let's start adding our ingredients on the top. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on there. We'll go ahead and add some bacon. Some cheese. black pepper. You can spice this up if you want, but uh, you might want to taste it first, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of cayenne pepper. And then finally our chives. Uh, you, the other thing you could do is you could put some onions in this, uh, but you know, if you're going to use the chives, that kind of gives it that oniony taste you can do without the uh, onions. So here's our soup and uh, we're going to retire over to the table where we can uh, try this out. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's looking pretty good actually. Uh, it looks really appetizing. So uh, n nice and colorful. It's like everything's kind of uh, blended on the top. I do. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and try this. Try to get a, a mouthful of all the extras on top. Oh my God, that is really, really good. I was expecting it to maybe be a little saltier, but it's really not. The added bacon on the top gives it some, you know, the texture of the bacon. I'll make sure I get some pieces with the potato in here though. There you go. Get some cheese. Some of the cayenne pepper. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Baked potato is a really nice touch. That is really good. So again, especially for bacon lovers, I'm really, really surprised that Campbell's like kind of was really, really quiet about this. I don't know if it's something they're going to be manufacturing on a regular basis or if it was just a, a one-time only thing, but apparently now it's showing up in the, in the dollar stores. 
So get it if you get a chance and just try it as a soup. Again, you can use it in other recipes, just sort of like we did with the cactus casserole. You can do something like that, but or just by itself as a soup, no, really, really nice. Well, we dressed it up a little bit, of course. So yeah, definitely give it a shot. And again, once again, uh, thank you, Janice Yamanaka, for uh, finding this for us. Uh, the Indiana Jones of food. Uh, she always seems to manage to find this hard to, hard to get stuff. So um, we're gonna go ahead and finish this, enjoy this. But remember that it's crazy out there, so please be careful. Please take care of yourselves. Please take care of others, and we will see you soon. Mm. Mm -mm. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.